fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Good Thursday afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Forecaster Angie Steamson. We're going to look at your forecast. Winter weather advisories across the southern tier in northwestern Pennsylvania have been allowed to expire, but there still is a winter weather advisory in place for northern portions of the area, including northern Erie County, Niagara, and Orleans County, and that goes until 6 p.m. tonight. Here's a look at some of the 24 hour ice totals from across the region. As expected, most of the freezing rain and sleet ended up across the Buffalo area, and they saw just over a half an inch of ice up there. That way, Wellsville just under three tenths of an inch, Dunkirk just over a quarter of an inch, and here in Jamestown, we report just over a tenth of an inch of ice at the Jamestown Airport. The system that was responsible for that rain, freezing rain and snow, has moved off the east coast, and in its place, just some light precipitation remaining across western New York. There's a warm front. Across northwestern Pennsylvania, that warm front will try to make its way a little farther north and see how warm it's going to get and how the difference of the temperatures where the warm front ends up being. The warm front might make it as far as the southern tier. To the north of that warm front, temperatures will be chillier, feeling more like winter up across the Buffalo area with temperatures this afternoon in the low 30s. Down here across the southern tier, temperatures in the lower and mid 50s, and you go a little bit farther south, temperatures closer to 60. And you get down to central Pennsylvania, it's going to feel like summer with temperatures close to 70 this afternoon and all thanks to that warm front. Here's the future scan what we have for the next 24 or 48 hours through the rest of the afternoon out there. Mainly cloudy skies, maybe some peaks of sunshine across the southern tier. Another weak system is going to move through the area later this evening and into the night. That's going to touch off a few more rain and snow showers and also usher in some colder air for tomorrow and through the rest of through the day tomorrow mainly cloudy with a few light snow showers across the region. We may see an inch or two of snow across the highest hilltops but other than that we're not really expecting way much of snow and then as we head into Saturday a cloudy start to the day we might see a few rain and snow showers through the afternoon on Sunday on Saturday with more sunshine returning for Sunday so for tonight again a few light rain and snow showers possible temperatures tonight will be chilly behind the cold front with lows in the upper teens to lower 20s across the region and now the next seven days from ultimate satellite solutions we reach Return back to the 30s on Saturday, close to 40 on Sunday, partly cloudy skies on Sunday. And as we head into early next week, we bring we start the day Monday off dry. Then we bring in another system later Monday into Tuesday that could bring a chance for some more rain and snow showers across the region.